As men grow up, many of them strive to be just as great or even greater than their fathers. Of course, many of us have the mindset that we will never be as great as our pops. That's fine. You can still be half as good as them and all, but when it comes to father-son NBA relationships, the dad often reigns supreme by miles. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present 10 NBA players who failed to follow their father's footsteps. And for more cool videos every single day, don't forget to subscribe down below by clicking the subscribe button. We really appreciate it, and you will too. Damian Wilkins Grandson of NBA Hall of Famer Dominique, Damian was never going to be as good as the nine-time All-Star. But father Gerald Wilkins carved out a solid NBA resume. In a career that lasted a decade and a half, Gerald posted 13 points per game and was a solid all-around shooting guard. However, Damian didn't see much success in the pros. He played for five teams over a five-year span. He briefly joined the Indiana Pacers in 2017 after a four-year absence from the league. Damian was waived in early 2018. Ah, well. Two good Wilkins NBA players is enough. Glenn Rice Jr. Glenn Rice Sr. had a very nice NBA career, playing in three All-Star games while winning an NBA championship with the LA Lakers in 2000. He also averaged 18.3 points per game and was among the most lethal three-point shooters of his era. But Rice Jr. didn't quite cut it in the NBA. Drafted by the Philadelphia 76ers in 2013, he would play just two seasons in the NBA for the Washington Wizards. He played a total of 16 games and joined an Israeli team in 2017. Kobe Carl Okay, George Carl's NBA career as a player wasn't great, but he's still one of the most accomplished coaches in history. Only he and eight other coaches have won a thousand games, and Carl has coached four all-star teams. George's son Kobe didn't cut it in the NBA as a player, and probably won't as a coach either. He played just 24 games in the NBA, last appearing for the Golden State Warriors in the 2009-10 season. Michael Thompson One of the more underrated players of the 80s, big man Michael Thompson was part of the Lakers' 1987 and 1988 NBA championship teams. He averaged 13.7 points and 7.4 rebounds per game in a solid career that spanned from 1978 to 91. Though son Clay has been a bona fide star with the Golden State Warriors, his other son Michael never got his NBA career on track. Thompson joined the Cleveland Cavaliers for the 2011-12 season, but only played 19 minutes over a five-game span. At least Clay followed in his dad's footsteps. Drew Barry, an eight-time All-Star and 1975 NBA champion, Hall of Famer Rick Barry saw his five sons take up basketball. It's safe to say Brent did well for himself, winning two NBA championships with the San Antonio Spurs. But the same can't be said about Drew Barry. He spent just two seasons in the NBA playing for three teams. Barry averaged 2.2 points per game. Luke Walton the good news for Bill and Luke Walton is that both are NBA champions. The bad news is that only Bill is in the Hall of Fame as a player, thanks to career averages of 13.3 points and 10.5 rebounds per game. Oh, and don't forget his two All-Star game appearances. But Luke never reached superstardom in the NBA, averaging just 4.7 points per game in his career. He was hired as a head coach of the LA Lakers in 2016 and now has the chance to succeed in a different way. But as a player, no sir. Nowhere close to being as good as Papa. Larry Mikan. Don't only think of Bill Russell and Wilt Chamberlain when you think of the top NBA players of the 50s. Lakers legend George Mikan was no slouch himself. As the Hall of Famer won five championships in his career, but uh, things didn't work that way for Larry Mikan. Drafted in the fourth round by the Lakers in 1970, he'd only play one season for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Larry Mikan averaged three points per game and totally failed to carve out a career like the one his father had. Gary Payton II Okay, Gary Payton II just joined the NBA in 2016 like we haven't seen much from him so far. Not only that, but how many players can seriously match the success that his father had? The Hall of Famer was a nine-time All-Star, 2006 NBA champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist, and former Defensive Player of the Year. Peyton Jr. had just 3.3 points in his rookie NBA season, and we're already declaring him as a player who didn't follow in the footsteps of his dad. Fair, right? Patrick Ewing Jr. When people think of Patrick Ewing, they think of the legendary New York Knicks center who was named to 11 All-Star games averaged 21 points per game, and is in the Hall of Fame. We also remember the guy who tragically never won a championship ring. Well, son, Patrick Ewing Jr. had his shot to bring a ring to the family. He was drafted by the Sacramento Kings in 2008, but he'd only play seven games in the NBA. Ewing Jr. started in the NBA D-League, but that was as far as he'd go. And finally, David Stockton. John Stockton is among the greatest all-around players in NBA history. He holds the records for most career steals and assists, but the 10-time All-Star and Hall of Famer never got a championship ring. Well, son David provided some hope when he made it to the NBA in 2014, joining the Sacramento Kings. However, David Stockton played just three games in the NBA and went back to the NBA G League in 2017. Don't worry, John. Perhaps a future grandson will bring some much-deserved championship rings to the family someday. 
what other NBA players fail to follow in their father's footsteps? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you like the video, then show us by clicking the like button down below. And finally, if you're not subscribed yet, now's a great time to do that since the video is almost over. And if you do, you'll get more cool videos every single day from us. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.